Hey, this is Sohini at Double Lab, and in this video, we're going to be building a Discord bot that uses the Firebase Cloud Firestore and a Discord bot. So we've done a Discord bot and Firebase real-time database integration in our previous video. Um, so we quite well know how to create a Firebase real-time database and we also know how to create a Firebase Cloud Firestore because we've covered that um, in our previous videos as well. Um, just in case you're not aware about how to create a Firebase Cloud Firestore, I'm going to be linking up a um, video below in the description and you can learn how to create a Firestore account, a Firestore database, and then you can get started with this. Um, so the use case that I'm providing for this integration is, I think in my previous video I also discussed about this, let's say you've got a organization and that's set up on a Discord server and you've got internal employees um, who want to open up support tickets, who need assistance in getting their software done or anything inside your organization. Um, and there's another team in your organization who takes care of everyone's technical issues, the technical team. So this bot is going to be super useful. Then people can just go inside our channel and just type in their problems in there. And instantly they're going to be getting a support ticket. And all their problems along with their username and other stuff, all information that they have provided to Discord are gonna appear in our database. Let's see an example how. Let's say this is our um, database and this database is gonna be taken care of by our technical assistance team in our company. And me being an employee, I am facing an issue. So I can say, hi, I am Sohini from XYZ team and for the past four days I am unable to log in to our server. Can you please tell me what's the problem? My network seems to be fine. It's my hunch. This could be a potential bug from your site. Please respond to me with a solution as soon as possible. Um, so being an employee, I am posting this problem in this server as if um, our tech assistance team is going to take care of this. Now, before I hit enter, I'm going to turn this bot to work. Okay, so I will turn this on so that this starts working. And it says I'm ready. Okay, so now I'm going to post this problem to our channel. Instantly, we get this response. So this is my support ticket number. Now we're gonna get inside of our database and this is real time, although it didn't update instantly. So I'm just gonna be doing a refresh and there you see the problem is inside my um, cloud Firestore database. So this is cool, isn't it? So now let's say Again, I'm switching my roles. So previously I was an employee from another team. Now I am an employee from the tech assistance team. And my job is to constantly monitor um, this database and find out the problems the other employees of our organization are facing. And here I can see one of the employees, that is me, just sent away this problem. And this is her username, this is her user ID. And now let's say I wanna send away an executive to help her with this problem. I can directly find her username and get to her in her Discord channel. I can know her ticket number and using this ticket number, maybe in the future we can have a website where we can constantly keep updating um, the status of this ticket. Um, this is also the user ID for our reference. These are the stuff that I mapped through the code. This way, now let's say I'm sending another problem uh, that's gonna be coming up as well. 
So that's all um, in the demo part. Now I'm gonna get inside of the code and help you understand how this works. So now let's say um, we get inside the code. So the first thing that we all need, um, so I'm, I'm using Node.js to write the code stuff. So you need to have um, these packages essentially, the Discord JS. Um, you need Firebase admin, you need random string. So I'm using random string to generate the random ticket number and Firebase admin to connect um, our code with the Firebase Cloud Firestore. So remember this thing, um, for, for integrating your application with Cloud Firestore, you need Firestore admin. And to integrate this application with real-time database, you need just the Firebase app. That's all. So once you've done this, um, then you can see uh, this is the firebase.json file. This consists of personal credentials, which is important. Um, that can be found through your cloud Firestore database. I will show how you get that. So once you go to your Firebase console, remember we created this project for our previous database, the real-time one. This is the same one. So when you get inside of this and then go to project settings, um, you'll be able to see something called service accounts. So just get inside of service accounts and in here you can create a service account. So my service account is created and this is the important code that you need. And this code, I have used this already in here. You can see this piece of code is just taken away from this. And then we can generate a new private key. So you can just download it and then you can open it in here. And this is it. And you can copy paste all of these inside Firebase.json. And do not forget to just put a dot slash else Replit is going to think that this is a package. Um, so I was having constant errors in this part. Make sure you do it rightly. And then after that, um, I've created a instance and instead of this, I've admin on Firestore. And like the previous code, we were sending, we were taking the user's message and we were creating a random number. And then inside of a collection, so in Cloud Firestore, we have got collections. Um, so inside of a collection, we are creating a collection and we are sending all these information to one particular collection at one time. And this is my um, channel ID, uh, the one that I created. So this um, channel ID can be fetched directly from here. So if you copy the ID, it will get inside of this, like here you can paste it. And then I am just sending away this message. So this could be something else as well. And further, you can manipulate this code as much as possible with your own wish. But this is how this typically works. Um, this can be used for a use case like this as well, like a review system where um, let's say like us, we have set up this double app server where people can come and connect and let us know what they think about our tutorials and stuff. And then this bot is going to respond back by saying, perfect things, I'll let DoubleLamp know. And all these information are going to get inside for database and get stored. And we can just have a customer appreciation forum where people would just use this channel and they would write about their reviews about what they feel about our videos and other services. And those comments can be taken up and we can keep this in our database for our perusal. So that is one more thing. So there are lots of use cases if you look at it keenly, um, lots of them. It's just about how you're going to integrate it and how it's going to be useful for you. So my question to you after you finish watching this video and come to this point is, what do you think is a awesome use case for this integration? Do let me know in the comments below. And if you really think that this video is awesome and useful and helpful, do not forget to hit a like, share, and subscribe this in your socials. That's all for this video. I'm going to be coming back soon again. Till then, have fun, take care, and keep coding. Thanks for watching.